everyone, welcome back to my channel. So what we have here is what I like to call the $59.99 packs. And these pack offers started appearing in the shop last year's anniversary. And basically you get a different pack offer every single day for about 14 to 15 days. That's what it was last year. I'm not really sure how long they're going to do it for this year. But every single day, everyone's pack offer will be different. You'll either be seeing the Void one, the Energy, the Gems, or the Sacred Shard one. So you could even see um, the same pack offer four or five times in a row. For, like I've seen last year, the Energy pack offer appeared for me like eight, nine days in a row. And I only saw the gem pack offer once. And while other people I know saw the gem pack offer about like five or six, seven times in a row. So it's always different. And for me this year, I have seen the Void Shard pack offer uh, four or five times in a row now while I've gotten the energy pack once. So last year, I did try to dive into what may trigger these pack offers. And I'm still not sure what triggers them. So a lot of my theories, such as maybe if you buy more stuff more than the other, then you see that pack offer more often. But a lot of this was debunked, my theories anyways. So to this day, I still don't know what triggers these. Uh, as far as I know, I think it's 100% random. So again, everybody will see a different pack offer every single day for who knows how long. But this is what's been going on. So if any of you have been seeing this recently and are confused, there's your explanation. So I do want to break down these pack offers for you guys and let you know what my thoughts are on this. And of course, if you are a lower spender, then you will see a different pack offer price for these. But if you are a higher spender, then you'll definitely be seeing the $59.99 packs. Starting with the void shards over here on the left, we have 24 void shards for $59.99. Each void shard, I like to give it a value of 2050 cents. Now, void shards are not the best purchases when it comes to early game players or even maybe mid game players because shards in general are a gamble at the end of the day. You're not really guaranteed a certain champion or whatever, right? So I say it's a gamble no matter what. But with that being said, when it comes to void shard pack offers, when you see a void shard going for 2050 cents, to me, that is the time to buy kind of uh, thinking because most void shard pack offers, the average around maybe like anywhere from like $2.50 to about $3.50 or something like that, $3.33. So I guess like the average would be around $3 for most voice Shard pack offers. So anytime I see a voice Shard pack offer that's uh, offering at $2.50 or less, then that's usually a sign for me to buy, especially the string pack offers for the voice shares, not the chain pack offers. So at the end of the day, this does come down to an average pack offer, but when it comes to voice shares, this is considered a good offer, especially for end game players. So onto the gem pack offer. When I see a gem pack offer, I like to break down them into energy. And according to the energy per dollar ratio, that's kind of how I gauge whether something is good or not. So what we have here is 4,800 gems. We're gonna divide that by 40 and then multiply the value of that by 130, which is the amount of energy you get per refill when you're level 60 or higher. So the total amount of energy we'll get from that is 15,600 total energy. Now we're gonna divide that by 59.99, which is the pack offer price. And that's gonna give us a value of 260 energy per dollar so 260 energy per dollar ratio is not that easy to find when it comes to pack offers we do get a weekly pack offer that comes with a uh, multi-battle it's called the multi-battle pack offer right it comes with a bunch of energy refills it comes with energy it comes with the multi-battles and for that one it is 39.99 and it comes out to about 226 energy per dollar ratio so that is what I would say is the average mark that you would want to buy it at. So for this one, it is definitely a solid pack offer because you will not get outside of the monthly gem pack that comes with 2,140 gems for $9.99 a month, which you get in increments over 30 days. Outside of that, when it comes to gem pack offers, not energy pack offers, when it comes to gems, this is the best you can get, especially if you're just trying to hoard and rack up gems like I do. So this would be the pack for you. And I also want to dive in a little bit deeper and show you a different perspective on this pack. So for the monthly gem pack that's $9.99, as I already mentioned, it is the best gem pack offer available. But after that, it, this is pretty much it, right? And if you want to take a look at it from a different perspective, let's take the 4,800 gems here, divide that by 900, because that's the amount of, uh, it costs to buy 11 ancient shards in the shop. And we'll get 5.33, multiply that times 11. And that's going to give us 59.67, which is about 59 ancient shards, right? So 59 ancient shards for $59.99 essentially is what you're buying this for if you want to just go for straight ancient shards. So for me personally, I like to give a value on ancient shards at a dollar, but realistically, you're not really going to find a pack offer for ancient shards uh, for a for dollar that often, except for like the daily ancient shards that you buy for 99 cents, or sometimes they even offer it for that amount, depending on like what pack offer it is. But in most cases, ancient shards typically average at around a dollar and like 33 cents or something like that in most pack offers right 
So you're basically getting 59 Ancient Shards for $59.99 if you just want to focus on the Ancient Shards here. So in my honest opinion, this gem pack offer is definitely the best bang for buck value that you'll get out of all four of these. And moving on to the energy pack here. Okay, so the energy pack here is... Okay, let's 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 break it down real quick. We have 24 red energy refills here. Let's multiply that times 130. Okay, so we get 3,120 energy plus a 6,600 energy that's already given there, and that's going to give us a total of 9,720 energy. All right, think about this, guys. So we just converted the gems into energy and got 15,600 total energy, which is 59.99 for that same price for the energy pack offer. We're getting 9,720 energy for $59.99. A big, uh, a big gap there, right? So this energy pack offer, when you uh, break it down into energy per dollar ratio, it is 162 energy per dollar ratio. This is by far the worst energy deal that we've ever seen in the game, period. I don't think I've seen any energy deal that's worse than this one as far as energy to dollar ratio. It's just as bad as it gets. So. In my honest opinion, this is a terrible pack. I would hard pass on this and just run away from it. Unless you're desperate for energy, then that would be a different story, right? So moving on to the sacred shards, we have three sacred shards here and 300k silver. And so each silver I like to, each million silver, I like to give it a value of $1.20, but we don't have a million here. So we have uh, $1.20 times 0.3, and that's gonna give us a value of 36 cents for the silver. So I'm not gonna factor in the silver too much here because it's not too relevant. And we have three sacred shards here for basically $59.99 here, right? So that's what, almost $20 per sacred shard. So when in most cases, I would say sacred shard average value, according to the market value, based off of everything that they offer to us in the shop, is about $20. So this is technically an average pack offer, but when it comes to sacred shards, I don't really like to purchase sacred shards at the $20 mark. It's just not good value to me. So if I were to want to buy a sacred shard, if it would make me want to pull the trigger on it, then it would have to be at a value of $12.50 or less, maybe even $15 if I'm stretching it, right? So honestly, this pack offer, it is average. And if you're looking for sacred shards, then um, this is basically an average deal. So maybe it's uh, interesting to you, but honestly, I would say stay away from it. That's my honest opinion. So according to all the pack offers here, guys, the best pack offer period is going to be the gem pack. So if you can get that one often, then kudos to you. And the one that comes after that is definitely the voice shards. I'm sure a lot of endgame players will be most interested in that one. And that's going to be the second best pack offer here uh, based off of just value. And for the sacred shards, as I already mentioned, I would, I would stay away from it to be honest. And for the energy, just run away as fast as you can and don't look back, okay? That's my honest opinion about these pack offers. And I hope you guys enjoyed my breakdown. I hope you guys enjoyed my thoughts on this uh, these pack offers. So. Uh, if you guys enjoy my videos, if you enjoy my content in general, please make sure to subscribe. There's so many of you that out there that are watching my videos that are not subscribed to the channel and we're getting really, really close to hitting 8,000 subscribers and hitting that 8,000 subscriber mark would mean so much to me. You have no idea. So thank you so much for watching, guys. I appreciate you all so much every single day for watching my content. And if you enjoy my videos, please make sure to subscribe, hit that like button, and I'll see you all in the next video.